Ours is Gigabyte's enthusiast grade class gaming hardware, which includes this extreme edition of the RX 580. It comes in at 10.85 inches by 5.25 inches and is also another 2.5 slot card. So make sure you got enough room in your rig between the cards. It is stock at 14.5 megahertz and with an overclock setting of 1439 megahertz. Inside the packaging you will find more packaging. Uh, inside here is just your user manual and your driver disk. Underneath it you find the video card. Now all of these top of the line models by each vendor video cards are very hefty in weight. Oh look at that. Now you see that copper plate? That supposedly is going to keep your stuff cooler. And look at all that extra heat sink fins that you can see from the back. Now we don't like how these wires are exposed but uh, everything else looks great. It's got two big fans. You see how uh, thick it is? That's why it's a 2.5 slot video card. And uh, it has a 8 pin and a 6 pin power. As far as the ports go, you have your standard DVI. You have three display ports. So this card is not as uh, VR friendly because usually the VR friendly cards have two um, DVI, uh, HDMI ports. But this one has three chosen for uh, three display ports instead. This is so you can have three display port supported monitors uh, for surrounded gaming um, and then one for HDMI. Um, overall, it's a pretty card. This part lights up. The X. So, anyway, on to the test. Actually, I lied. Before we move on to the test, just want to show you a quick comparison. This is the Aorus Extreme RX 580. This is a regular Aorus 580. See the size difference? No? Oh yeah. See the length difference? Now. See the thickness difference? That is just hugely different. They both obviously sports that copper, famous copper plate at the back, but yeah, that's a lot of cooling. That's good cooling. That might be a little bit too much. We'll see. Let's first take a look at the unmodded Gigabyte Aorus RX 580 Extreme Edition. And again, this car also utilizes Samsung RAM. It's stock clock at 1425 megahertz. Core clock with a 2000 megahertz memory clock. One thing interesting that we've noticed oh actually before I forget the ASIC quality on this card is 74.3 so I'm not sure what manufacturers mean when they say they cherry pick these GPUs um, maybe they cherry picked it for its gaming performance but uh, definitely not for its mining performance maybe manufacturers if any of you are watching out there uh, you might want to consider um, seeing how popular mining is right now to put out a series of mining specific GPUs that uh, has much higher ASIC quality and specially tuned for mining oh, imagine the amount of cells that you're gonna get that way it's gonna save us miners a lot of time and work as well Moving on, 
Uh, it is a mining right now stock 24 point we'll call it 24.7 mega hashes which is similar to all the other uh, the previous cards that we've tested so far um, by the way this is the third car in the series um, at stock it is mining at about 125 watt and interesting thing that we've noticed is this car likes to run hot we've not turned on our manually adjusted fan control so this is by itself um, it did not kick on until about 50 degrees Celsius but um, it is running right now at 71 72 degrees Celsius at 33 percent fan speed uh, on its own and this is the strange thing oh actually um, the watt wattage on this one is actually 132 on average with the maximum of 135 watt this is the stock 1425 megahertz core clock with 2000 megahertz ram vram clock uh, we've noticed that the voltage is a little bit higher than normal as well usually we get uh, 1175 and we're getting 1181 millivolt here um, interesting we're gonna have to wait our video cards and see um, how much heat sink it um, is actually there because this card although it's large it filled it felt kind of light oh and uh, for those who have commented on our mic volume hopefully uh, we've made some adjustments uh, hopefully uh, my voice is a lot clearer to listen to on this video uh, let us know um, if there's anything else that we could do for you uh, to make this video easier to listen to easier to watch more enjoyable we are all about your comments uh, and make sure you click that like button and if you haven't subscribed subscribe because the giveaway um, is only eligible for subscribers stay tuned on more information about that giveaway we're gonna uh, go ahead and um, flash the bios on this card and we'll come back and see what kind of change that brings be right back we are back from flashing the bios and as usual you can see the car is running at the expected almost 28 mega hashes per second at the stock settings temperature is still managed to climb to 72 degrees celsius but now the voltage is at 1175 versus the earlier 1181. Uh, because of the bio flashing, obviously, the overall power consumption uh, is up. It's at 140 watt right now. We'll go ahead and fine tune this and uh, see if this is going to beat out ASUS and or MSI. Be right back. To our surprise, the Gigabyte Aorus Extreme Edition RX 580 was ext was extremely easy to work with, and it didn't take us long to find a happy setting for it at 1425 megahertz core clock at 2175 megahertz uh, VRAM clock, and it's resulting in a 30.6 mega hash speed uh, mining speed for Ethereum only in Claymore 9.3. We are very happy. And uh, not only that, um, it is uh, the temperature is also very well under control now. Um, as soon as the fans start kicking up to 40% plus, uh, it manages to keep the GPU cool enough to stay under 50 degrees Celsius, uh, which is what we'll like to see as well. Uh, you can see all the settings that we have right now for it. Um, this card was a lot easier to overclock on the memory portion and on the core clock portion um, without raising the overall power consumption too much. It's about 115 watt mining at 30.6 mega hashes. Uh, right now it's maybe a little bit under because of the video recording uh, screen capture. But overall, we can call this officially a 30.6 mega hash card, beating out the MSI Gaming X Plus and the ASUS T8G 
top overclock edition of the RX uh, 580. Uh, you might see a little bit of uh, memory errors here in the HW info, but that's after almost two and a half hours of mining. So this uh, could be disregarded as just random memory errors. It's not a big issue. It's not going to cause uh, instability. So this is a sp stable mining at 30.6 mega hashes. We are happy. Uh, shock actually really shocked um, but we're glad to see that the uh, Auras came into this competition um, ready to play ball so uh, right now it is in the first place followed by MSI trailing by uh, Asus we have three more cards to review the next uh, card up for our test will be the power color um, Red Devil Golden Sample Edition, love that name. Followed by DXFX, um, and then close up, uh, close it off with the Sapphire Nitro Plus. Um, hope you like this episode. We will see you again in part four of the seven-part series, where we set out to find out which top RX 580 model is the king in Ethereum mining. Have a good day. Bye-bye.